This is a Simon video. You know you have learned about root ball component, but you have never had a chance creating a root ball component. So in this video, I would ask you to create a root ball component, which is a added server component. Right? You can call it added server. And then you just need to use the page directive to specify the relative URL for your root ball component. And then what you need to do is to set up a link between the server and that root ball component, right? So for each one of these servers, you need to have a added link. You can use bootstrap link button to style the link. And then when the user clicks on the link, it should direct the user to your root ball component. In other words, all of these will be replaced by the content of your root ball component. Don't worry about that your root ball component is empty. It may just have a title, but that's okay. That's what you need to practice. Okay, I will see you in the next one where I'm going to show you how I do it.